This is a live look tonight at the White House, where 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue is lit up in solidarity with the U.S.'s longtime ally, Israel. We're back on Scripps News tonight, where our coverage continues of the terror attacks in Israel. And joining me now is Eli Saltzman, director of the Joseph and Alma Gildenhorn Institute for Is Israel Studies at the University of Maryland. Mr. Saltzman, prior to this attack, Israelis were heatedly divided over Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and reforms by the right wing. Um, we know what's happening right now is undoubtedly focused on security, but politics is also something of an undercurrent. How united is Israel tonight? What do we know they collectively want? Good evening, Chance. Thank you so much for having me. Um, well, collectively, they want their people back at home. They want their kids, they want the, the women, they want the elderly back home. Uh, they want to see a way out from this uh, terrible conflict. Um, I think that you are absolutely right. I think Benjamin Netanyahu has been struggling politically recently, significant opposition on the streets. Uh, Israelis have been protesting for the past uh, 39, 40 weeks uh, in a row against what he adv advocated for, uh, known as the judicial reform or ju the judicial overhaul. So he finds himself um, quite in a, in a difficult spot now. He doesn't have the mm -hmm. full legit legitimacy of the Israeli people. And despite the fact that we would expect to see this rally around the flag effect, I think that for the most part, those who oppose his judicial reform and some of his political objectives are now opposing his remaining in power. I see. I, I, there has been talk of maybe a coalition. So it's kind of, you know, we're speaking for everybody. I haven't heard of any progress in that respect. But getting to that point, you know, in a moment like this, you really look to a strong leader. And, and I wonder how Israelis feel about Netanyahu, because thinking back to 9-11, on September 12th, there was a rallying around the flag. You saw George W. Bush. He hit 86 percent approval. You know, at this moment, do Israelis feel like was Netanyahu too wrapped up in his own political battles, maybe missed something? Or does he get the benefit of the doubt and people saying, you know, he is still our prime minister. We're supporting him. Well, I think it, like anything else in, in Israel today, everything is based on your political position, whether you're with or against Benjamin Netanyahu. If you're in favor, if you, you're a supporter of Benjamin Netanyahu, then it's not his fault. It is somebody else. It's uh, the military leadership. It's the intelligence failure. It's something else. And if you're against Benjamin Netanyahu, it's uh, anything but uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. It's uh, his inability to uh, overcome his... Uh, coalition partners' uh, interests in advancing the judicial reform, for example. It's about the fact that he refused to hid, apparently, according to some reports, to the Egyptian Minister of Intelligence, a uh, warning that something is percolating, something is happening in the Gaza Strip, something big is happening in the Gaza Strip. So, again, from, mm -hmm. from his opponent's perspective, this is another case of putting his personal interests ahead of the national interest of the state of Israel. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're in Finally, the same spot, whether you're with him or you're against him. Mr. Saltzman, I'm not asking for an endorsement of any sort, but is there, objectively speaking, a better person to lead Israel given the tumult? Well, I think that there are a number of individuals who can contribute significantly to Israel uh, at the present. And again, some of them are trying to negotiate perhaps uh, entering into his coalition government under certain circumstances, one of which is his former uh, minister of defense, a former chief of staff, um, Benny Gantz. The other one is a former chief of staff as well from Benny Gantz's own party, got the Eisenkot. You can talk about Yair Lapid, his uh, a former foreign minister and a prime minister. So there's a lot of people, many people who are experienced can contribute. The political predicament of Benjamin Netanyahu is that they insist on him ejecting, removing uh, elements from his own cabinet, including Itamar Ben-Gvir and uh, Bezalel mm -hmm. Smotrich, whom they consider as radical, right-wing, and in part uh, responsible for where the state of Israel is now. Mm -hmm. Eli Saltzman, director of the Joseph and Alma Gildenhorn Institute for Israel Studies at the University of Maryland. Thank you, sir. Coming up next hour... Thousands of people in Israel worried they will never see their loved ones again. We're going to hear from a father who says his 25-year-old daughter was taken hostage by Hamas. And from a man who tells us six family members, including a baby, were taken.